This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Hi friends, welcome to today's chemistry class. Today I am going to teach a chapter states of matter. In this states of matter, I am going to cover intermolecular these are some of the topics here. Those are intermolecular forces, thermal energy and uh, intermolecular forces versus thermal interactions the gaseous state the gas law ideal gas equation kinetic molecular theory of gases behavior of real gases liquefaction of gases and last is liquid state okay first of all i want to give a brief introduction about this topic here i will mean, uh, give an introduction so we know that uh, water can exist as ice which is a solid Right, and it can exist as a liquid or it can exist in the gaseous state as water vapor or stream so in all three states of water chemical uh, composition of water remains the same whatever that is the characteristics are there the chemical composition of water it remains the same that is h2o characteristics of three state of water depend on the energies of molecules and on the manner <coughs> on the manner in which uh, water molecules aggregate same is true for other substances also then the chemical uh, here the some chemical properties of substance don't change with the change of its physical state okay chemical characteristics of a substance don't change with the change of its physical state the change of its physical state okay but rate of chemical reaction don't depend on the physical state many times in calculations while dealing with the data of experiments we acquire knowledge of the state of matter Therefore, it becomes necessary for a chemist to know the physical laws which can the behavior of matter in different states. Okay. Next to concept is intermolecular forces. So, intermolecular forces are the forces of attraction and repulsion between interacting particles. So, interacting particles okay. means atoms and molecules. These are called interacting particles. Okay. So, here. Uh, he, um, this term does not include the electrostatic forces that exist between the two oppositely charged ions and the forces that hold atoms of molecules together that is covalent bonds the intermolecular this term what we are saying about intermolecular forces it does not exist and it does not include the electrostatic forces okay and next attractive intermolecular forces are known as van der waals forces attractive intermolecular forces are known as van der waals forces okay so van der waals forces were considerably in magnitude and include it includes the uh, dispersion forces or london forces okay or dipole dipole forces and dipole induced dipole forces a particularly strong type of dipole interaction is hydrogen bonding so strong type of dipole dipole interaction strong type of 
डायपोल डायपोल इंटरक्शन दट इज हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग ओके एंड यू नो सो ह्यो only a few elements can participate in hydrogen bond formation therefore it is treated as a separate category and at this point it is important to note that attractive forces between an ion and a dipole are known as ion dipole forces attractive forces between an ion and uh, dipole are known as ion dipole and these are not van der waals forces okay so this is about intermolecular forces next is topic is dispersion forces or london forces okay atoms and uh, non polar okay see so, uh, atoms and non polar molecules are electrically symmetric and have no dipole moment because their electronic charge cloud is symmetrically distributed okay atoms and non polar molecules atoms you know what is atoms and non polar molecules are they are electrically symmetric and have no dipole moment because their electronic charge cloud is symmetrically distributed but a dipole may develop momentarily even in such atoms and molecules dipole may develop okay so uh, consider uh, i will uh, i will give you one example and you can understand this topic easily okay see here Uh, this is the figure A. This can be understood as follows: Like uh, suppose uh, we have two atoms A and B. So this is A and this is atom B in the close vicinity of each other. So as shown in this figure, this is the figure A, this is figure B, and this is figure C. Huh. so it may so happen that momentarily electronic charge distribution in one of the atom say atom a because atom because a okay becomes unsymmetrical that is the charge cloud is more on one side other than that okay as shown in this figure c th this is a figure a symmetrical distribution of electronic charge cloud here what happens atom a with instantaneous dipole more electron density on the right hand side here on the left hand side so uh, this is in symmetrical in nature but in figure b and figure c what happens the charge cloud is more on any one side that may be right hand side or left hand side so this results in the development of instantaneous dipole on the atom a for a very short time so that you know what happens instantaneous dipole will be created okay this instantaneous or transient dipole distorts the electron density of the other atom b so it also uh, distorts the atom b also density dist distorts the electron density of the other atom b which is close to it and as a consequence a dipole is induced in the atom b also okay next the temporary dipole so here in the atom b this is atom b in the atom b also there is a induced dipole okay dipole is induced the temporarily uh, dipole of uh, atom a and b attract each other uh, similarly temporary dipoles are induced in molecules also this force of attraction was first proposed by the german physicist 
Fritz Landon and for this reason force of attraction between the two temporary dipoles they are known as Landon forces another name for this force is dispersion force these forces are always attractive okay uh, see as I am explaining you about uh, uh, this is dispersion forces or Landon forces so you understood the concept of this a symmetrical distribution and here on any one side of the atom there is a dipole induced so that uh, in the atom B also there is a induced dipole and in figure C also the same thing happens so and you should know what do you mean by London force also so here the temporary dipole of atom A and B attract each other write down this temporary dipoles of atom A and B attract each other similarly uh, Dipoles are induced in molecules also. This force of attraction was first proposed by similarly temporary dipoles. So, similarly, temporary dipoles are induced in. molecules also this force of attraction was uh, proposed by the German physicist Fritz Landon so and for this reason force of attraction between the two temporary dipoles is known as so this is known as uh, this temporary dipoles dipoles are known as London force another name for this is also called uh, or this may also called as dispersion force always these forces are always attractive and uh, they are inversely proportional to the sixth power of the distance between the interacting particles this force is inversely proportional to the this one okay so please note it down and uh, these forces are important on that short distances and their magnitude depends on the polarizability of the particles okay so just a glance on this topic what do you mean by dispersion forces or london forces uh, this is just like an introduction after that you can explain what do you mean by london forces okay here you can see here This is about the London forces and this is the dispersion force and uh, write down in the next here um, it is uh, figure A and here how the electronic uh, charge is distributed and this is figure B and this is figure C okay so this is about this is about dispersion forces or London forces next topic is Dipole for dipole forces. Next topic is dipole 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 forces. What do you mean by dipole dipole forces? Dipole dipole forces act between the molecules. Okay, this will be happens in the molecules. It should be very important term and possessing permanent dipoles. End of the dipoles possesses partial charges, and these charges are shown by Greek letter delta okay see 
uh, we know that partial charges are always less than the unit electronic charge this is the partial charges means which is less than the unit electronic charge we know electronic charges 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb okay here the polar molecules interact with neighboring molecules so this is the figure a uh, here as shown in this figure electron cloud distribution in the dipole of hydrogen chloride we are seeing that hcl okay how it is distributed and one other figure i will show this is the dipole-dipole uh, uh, -dipole interaction between two hcl molecules there are this is one and this is two therefore there are two hcl molecules are present so this interaction is stronger than the london forces but it's weaker than the ion ion interaction because only partial charges are involved here only partial charges are involved see here two uh, two in between the two molecules so it is there means it is a stronger than London forces note it down and it is uh, weaker than ion ion interaction okay so because only partial charges are involved the attractive force decreases with increase of distance between the molecules so here what happens attractive forces attractive force decreases with uh, increases in between the distance between the molecules okay uh, the increases of distance between the dipoles so as in the uh, case of what i have explained you in the uh, dipole uh, ion uh, that is london forces so the interaction energy is inversely proportional to distance between the polar molecules but in dipole dipole interaction energy between the stationary polar molecules is uh, your it is uh, uh, forces is inversely proportional to uh, stationary polar molecules is proportional to 1 by r cube and the between the uh, rotating polar molecules uh, which is uh, this is for stationary stationary polar molecules okay and for uh, rotating polar what happens for rotating polar it is in proportional to this one okay so this is for rotating polar uh, where r is the distance uh, between the polar molecules so besides dipole dipole interaction polar molecules can interact by london forces also the stimulative effect is that the total of intermolecular forces in polar molecules increases okay so this is about the dipole dipole forces